Hey guys, so I'm Frank from the Gluten Screwed Brog, and lately I've been seeing a lot of shop tours, makerspace tours, and things like that. Well, me, being a mobile maker, I have to take my tools wherever I go. And instead of a shop tour, I wanted to give you a truck tour, which will include my toolboxes, what's inside the truck, outside the truck, everything that I need to get going. Uh, this is my 2013 F-150 STX um, 4x2, um, and let's get started. So I'm going to grab the camera and take you along with me from front to back. So up front, we have my winch, which I'll show you. It is a worn... Xeon 10S, um, S standing for synthetic, and instead of being a traditional wire rope or cable, this is a synthetic rope. And what's really cool about that is the fact that it won't rust or anything like that. It's really durable, and this one will tow or pull up to 10,000 pounds. So heavy duty latch and everything ready to go. To mount it, I use the Rough Country Hidden Winch Kit, which is why it's kind of flush with the bumper right there. It um, It's really cool because it just mounts to the frame, you can see it down there, and then you just bolt the winch right to it, and you're good to go. So, and then you can see where we ran the battery cables up. It's a great winch. I've already stretched it and it's ready to go, so I'm really excited to kind of use it. Uh, hopefully I won't need it, but it's definitely one of those nice-to-haves, especially on a 4x2 when you're not sure if you're going to get stuck or not. The other cool thing about the hidden winch kit is for those states that require a front tag, they give you the tabs to do that. So let's move into the cab. In the cab, uh, if you're a blog reader, you'll know that I have a full set of Carhartt seat covers. These are made by a company called Covercraft uh, under the name Seat Saver. This was a partnership between Carhartt and Covercraft. Uh, these are the gravel set. They also have the traditional Carhartt Brown where they, they're really custom cut, custom made, and custom stitched. They're absolutely amazing. Um, they really fit a whole lot better than anything that you would find at AutoZone or, you know, O'Reilly's or whatever. Um, it's really nice that they have this tab that kind of tucks in back here and comes out down there. And it's a whole buckle system that really keeps them nice and taut so they don't slide around and move around. They really don't move they really become part of the seat, which is very cool. They also have this little piece in here, which tucks down in there, so they won't move around some more. They go all the way around, cover the headrests, everything. There's obviously not a headrest on the middle seat, which is why it's not there. Um, cover all around down here. You can see some more of those straps right there. In the middle of the two seats in the lifted part of the middle seat I have the micro tool pouch which some of you blog readers might read or might have seen um, inside it um, I just built a basic kit to you know little jobs little fixes things like that that I might need includes hammer pliers oilers magnetic retrieval tools a little bit of sandpaper tape pipe thread sealant uh, screwdrivers, grease, clips, pry bars, tape measure. It's really just a basic little kit that I can kind of grab and go for small fixes and repairs. Let's see, past that we have earplugs, which I always keep. Um, you never know. An extra pair of clear safety glasses for inside jobs. On the floors, I love these Husky liners. I ended up going with these instead of the WeatherTech ones because the WeatherTech ones stop about here and don't carry over into this plate here. Um, they're also a little bit cheaper, which is always nice, and they've held up to everything. Um, dirt, grime, grease, they're obviously a little dirty now. I just need to hose them off and they'll be ready to go. 
they also um, you know got the front and the back the back also kind of covers that little hump area they're just they're really really nice they're really heavy duty um, I was a little concerned when I got them that this one was folded in half but it, it really just kind of flattened out and, and really works great and um, definitely wouldn't trade them for anything they're nice and durable and the door gaff tape um, gaff tape is really unique um, it's kind of got its fame for the movie industry and film industry because it doesn't leave a residue and just comes off nice and clean so I always have a roll of that it's great um, I actually kind of like it a little bit better than get, um, duct tape. Stanley Power Lock 12 foot tape measure. This is kind of my backup. I have the big um, Milwaukee 25 foot, which is great, but it's a little heavy. And if we're just if my girlfriend, if my fiance and I are running into Home Depot or Lowe's or IKEA, that one's perfect. Business card, carpenter pencil, Frank at GlutenScrew.com. Feel free to shoot me an email. Mm, let's see. Oh, back there you'll see my Milwaukee M18 wet dry vac. Rocks. Love it. And then under the seat is my Gerber Ding Dong breaching tool. This is a, well, formerly military and police only, but now um, you can purchase it on their website. Uh, it's a breaching tool uh, which features a sledge head and a pry head. Um, the pry end is really nice. It's nice and thin. It kind of has those um, serrations almost on it that work really well for kind of getting into tight spaces and lifting up. I chose to mount it uh, with these four screws here right into the um, bottom of the truck. Um, and then you just pull this latch and you take it off and you grab it and go. Um, it has these nice kind of like the milled faces um, to grab and um, so that way it won't slip or anything. And it has the milling on the top as well. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably get a comment or two asking why I would need that, but you never know. Um, it's a great tool and it, the truck just really seemed like the perfect place to have it in. Um, fire extinguisher. Uh, roadside emergency kit from AAA. Um, great little kit. Um, another thing that I love about these seat covers is that they give me a back pocket. My truck did not come with back pockets back here, so it was really nice to kind of have those. Um, let's see. I don't think I think that's really about it for as far as the cab. Nothing else too crazy. So let's go to the back. Let's go to the toolboxes. I have three toolboxes. I have two swing cases and one kind of saddle case. Um, they're they're really helpful, and I use all three of them. So, for the left swing case, um, swing cases are made by a company called Undercover. They Undercover is probably most known for their hard top covers, which kind of lift up from the back. Um, they're, they're great cases. These are designed to kind of work in tandem with those hard top covers and are really nice for small items and you can also just remove them which is extremely helpful. So they just pull this latch here and they swing out. On the top they feature this long tray which is great for maybe small hand tools if you're working on your tailgate like I do. Mm you know, rulers, extent, you know, things like that. They get great little space here. One small complaint that I wish they kind of did was I wish they inverted these cup holders. I have noticed that if I'm on unlevel ground that things will slip out this way. So that would be a small change that I would have, you know, kind of invert these so that it's a little more looped around here. And then even if it kind of knocks into this space a little bit, that would be fine. Other than they feature a nice watertight dust proof latch system here you can kind of see there's a nice little ring to keep it clean um, I have not covered these I don't park outside or I don't park under a garage and you can tell that they're still nice and clean in the toolbox they feature a tray um, my tray I just have um, markers some padlocks which I'll show you what those are for later zip ties a little funnel Underneath the tray we have some string, hex key sets, bungee cord, this is some silicone wrap tape which I haven't even opened yet. So 
that's ready to go. Shop towels, these Scott shop towels rock. I use them all the time, so I, I always have them in the truck. This is a small Plano case, which just now has a lighter, some razor blades, some earplugs, just small little knickknacks. WD-40, always helpful. I like the rust release spray. I, I find that it definitely kind of penetrates and, and I use it a lot and, and really like kind of this dual edge smart straw thing that they have so I can get kind of a broad spray or a, a nice fine tune spray. Foil tape down on the bottom. Black duct tape. This is bearing, high temp bearing grease for uh, just whenever I need grease. Um, so I think I got it at an auto parts store. Really cheap, but it's great grease. It's and it works, you know. And I chose. I have another one that's not high temp, but this one I just keep here because you never know when you might need those high temp situations, and it'll always work regardless. Right here in this pouch, these are the Hexharmer EXT Rescue gloves. These gloves are geared towards EMS, EMT, and um, firemen. These are these are great gloves. These are extrication gloves from Hex Armor. They feature Cup 5 level protection. They feature a nice rugged impact protection on the back of the glove. They have a zip a Velcro strap on the back. Um, this is kind of a, a webbing to like a neoprene so that they're nice and tight. Nice thick grips and palms to protect against punctures or cuts. You can see the reinforced area in between the thumb and the forefinger. And these also resist bloodborne pathogens, which I don't expect to come in contact with, but it's always nice to have and they're really strong, really durable gloves. For non-extrication <laughs> purposes, I have these also Hex Armor gloves. These are called the Mudders. Um, and they're basically great for muddy, dirt, grimy situations. Really strong, really comfortable, and unlike a kind of like a dishwashing glove, these also have a nice kind of felted cloth liner on the inside so you don't get like sweaty and gunky like you would with dish gloves. And then they also feature the same kind of impact protection on the back of the glove. And then in the back we have some liquid wrench de-icer and lock lubricant. Being in Georgia, I don't have to worry about the de-icer as much, but lock lubricant is always helpful for the locks on the toolboxes or just to have on hand. The swing cases attach over here via some a bracket that you screw into the side of your truck bed. Mine, you can see I had to cut the plastic liner, but if you have a spray-in liner, you don't have to do that. These are just uh, self-tapping metal screws. You just measure screw them in and you're good to go. The padlocks that I mentioned earlier are for here. What you can do is the swing cases sit on hinges um, with nice plastic or polyurethane bushings so they're nice and smooth, nice and quiet. You can kind of hear it there. But what's cool is that you can put a lock right through here and lock them in so no one can take them because obviously if you, the moment you pull this out you can just take them right off which is a great feature and every now and then I'll take them off and I lock them in the truck if I want or you know if it's going to be left out for an extended period of time it's great. Cargo bar keep things from sliding around. In the right swing case we have kind of some small hand tools and just kind of basic stuff. In the tray we have my stiletto, small stiletto pry bar which has a circular saw wrench, pry bar, bottle opener, um, cutter, all kinds of stuff on it. This is a brass putty knife. It's a stiff blade putty knife, um, which resists sparking and things of that sort. But brass is also a little bit softer, so it won't scrape or cut anything that you don't want it to. Another Sharpie type ink saw, box cutter, mechanical pencil. These are the Stonebreaker Demo Gloves. Um, I like, I keep these in the truck because they have nice long cuffs on them. They come up past my wrists and they have a nice little pad here um, to prevent, you know, kind of like a shock zone type thing. But they're really nice leather 
high-end gloves and, and I really like them a lot. They're very comfortable. Down here we have a little Milwaukee pouch which has pliers, um, some locking pliers, some needle nose pliers, scissors, a multi-bit screwdriver, and then just like I said some, some small basic hand tools. This is an S-Wing double-sided mallet, my heart 21 ounce framing hammer, another pair of locking pliers from Milwaukee, these are have coated handles, pipe wrench, um, demo screwdrivers, and um, slip joint pliers, again from Milwaukee, they, um, you know, just all kinds of, you know, whatever you might need. And down here we have a stiletto, another stiletto pry bar. That one's a little more abrasive and it has the dimpler and stuff. Just kind of like dig down and, and grab a nail if you need it. So that's that one. And like I said, they just push and lock into place. So they're, the swing cases are extremely helpful. I love them um, and they work really great. So I definitely recommend them. Um, be sure to look very hard and make sure that you're getting the right ones for your truck because they're all specific um, and you don't want to get the wrong ones. So if you have any questions, definitely call them. So into the big toolbox. In the big toolbox, we have the big items. So um, things that wouldn't fit in the swing case or things that I just don't want in a swing case. Up top, you'll see the lid of fame as seen on my Instagram page. Um, tool companies and stickers seemed like a good place. My poor Vito and Home Depot stickers are coming off, so guys, send me some good sticky stickers. From right to left, we have, this is the pulling shackle, uh, which goes into the hitch receiver if I need it. This is a 9x12 tarp, which works great. Um, and these, these are, these are really cool, by the way. These are Scotch Velcro straps. These are 36 inch straps. Um, and for little stuff like this, they're really great at just kind of containing it and keeping it, um, contained. Um, that way it's not rolling around. They're really easy. They're just Velcro and they just kind of latch right there. They're very cool. I love those things. I think they're like six bucks at Home Depot. Hardware, fasteners, screws, anchors, nails, you know, tap cons, whatever I might need. Just kind of a, a collection. It's a picnic blanket for um, whenever my fiance and I want to just sit on the back of the truck and have a bite. Or if we go out for ice cream or something. Tecton 45 piece socket set. DeWalt hammer drill. Uh, 20 volt XR hammer drill two batteries charger everything ready to go here I have some microfiber towels for cleaning off the truck or just regular grime and gunk deck here we have this is a Gerber splitting axe and in front of it we have an S-Wing black special edition campers axe um, the only reason I have both of them in the truck is because I haven't decided which one I like better. So, once I do, one of them will not be in the truck anymore. Above that, we have the Empire 4-foot level. It has the blue, the true blue vials, which are great. They're really easy to read. Um, very nice. I love them. Um, the only thing that I would have a small complaint is that it, they don't have lights, but lighted levels are coming, so stay tuned for those. But it does have the rubber bumpers, kind of a milled top, uh, really durable, really strong. I love this box level. In the Craftsman box is kind of another amalgamation of randomness. Um, we have towels, lava soap, an IR thermometer, electrical tape, NECs, Gorilla Glue, JB Weld, Seal All. Just, you know, kind of a collection of things that I might need and... Um, adhesives and cleaning supplies. In the little black bag we have everything needed for tie down stuff. So we have ratchet straps, rope, more another ratchet strap, bungee cords, all kinds of stuff. Because I put the ding dong tool in the back, I had to relocate my jack, so that's that. This is just some scrap wood that needs to not be in here. 
This is a Gerber Gator Machete, a Stanley flat bar. In the red bag, we have a respirator. Um, just to kind of have, you know, you never know when you might go into a dusty situation or things like that. Uh, and that bag just kind of keeps it nice and clean um, for next use. Over here, we have my Dead On Tools framing rig. I keep my tool belt empty because I never know what I'm going to need to put in it. So what I'll do is I will have an empty tool bag, bring all the tools out of my Vito Pro Packs, put them in there, and then kind of build it as the job comes. And that seems to work really well for me and kind of gives me a great little customizable tool belt. Underneath that, we have the worn winch accessory kit. It has gloves, turnbuckle, the remote thing for it, shackles, all kinds of stuff that you need. Great kit, highly recommend it if you have a winch. Um, very cheap, great tool. Contractor bags, these are two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. I use these for maybe like jacking up the truck on an unstable surface. Um, or just kind of basic support, whatever I might need, so that's why they're in there. In the chock full of nuts can, this was something that I found on a survivalist blog. Um, when I was looking at things that I might want or need for my toolbox, I found this. And it was highly recommended on every single one, and it's a roll of toilet paper. Great for Kleenex, or that outdoor adventure, whatever. Um, but that's in there, just in case. Um, I hope to never use it, but it was it was one of those things that was so highly recommended on all these sites that I figured it couldn't hurt. Funnel, some little bags for miscellaneous objects that I might have, another ink saw, backup pair of safety glasses, and that's really about it. It's, uh, you know, I, I wanted my truck to kind of be a rolling toolbox, and it has become that, and... It works out great, so I, I'm, I'm really happy with it, and um, I hope you all kind of got some ideas for your truck and things that you might want to put in, in your toolboxes, and I hope this helps. Um, thank you all so much for the support, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.